Hello, Dr. Jeremiah Tampoya here from Solace Optometry. And today I am going to do a video to show you how to do a binocular balance on the TopCon CV5000 autoferopter. This is an addendum to the video that I did earlier uh, doing a tutorial on that particular machine. So it's rather quite simple. Um, first thing that you wanna do is go to this custom chart here. And when you press the custom chart, the binocular balance that it will do is the prism dissociation. Two things to note here is that on the right eye, there are six diopters of base up prism that have been introduced. And also, the phoropter has fogged the patient by half a diopter. So it added um, 0.5 more plus power. So what the patient sees are two screens, one on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, the top is the left eye and the bottom is the right eye. And they're viewing these two charts simultaneously. The line that they are viewing is the 2040 line as seen right here. And what you wanna ask the patient is which line is clearer, the top or the bottom. Let's say that the patient says that the bottom line is clearer. That would signify the right eye so what you want to do is to add plus to the right eye. In order to do that, we would hit the R button here, and that would go towards the right eye. And you can change the strength on that right eye now. And I'm going to add plus by turning the dial once counterclockwise. And you would continue to do this until the patient says that both lines have letters that are equally clear, or you get a reversal. To exit out of here, you would go back to the normal chart, and these charts are under the Chart 1 tab. And you can pick any of these charts with any specified sized letters. And you'll notice that both eyes will open up now. However, the eyes are still fogged, so you need to add more minus. And since it fogged initially with half a diopter, we'd go minus half a diopter as well. So I would do that by turning the dial two times to the right. So that is how you do a binocular balance on the system via the prism dissociation method. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you very much.